Hello, welcome to Arithmetic Intelligence. Today we'll be learning about how to use the abacus to read single digit numbers. You can use this video to introduce the abacus to your child or learn it yourself to improve your mental math skills. If you are using this video to introduce the abacus to your child, please make sure to pause the video to allow the child to work at a reasonable pace. The abacus is a great way to bond with your family and to help your child develop into confident learners, but most importantly, get their homework done in a fun way. So without further ado, let's get started. To operate the abacus, there are three simple rules that you need to follow. Rule number one, make sure no beads are touching the middle bar because you will be pushing the beads towards the middle bar to represent numbers. Now, today we will be looking at single digit numbers, also known as ones or units. So as a first rule, make sure nothing is touching. So to remove the beads from the middle bar, you can pinch one side of the abacus and slide your fingers all the way down. Another way of doing it, you can use your index and push the beads up and then use your thumbs and push these beads down. Or simply pinch the middle bar and slide your finger all the way across. Rule number two. Find the rod with either the dot or the one that has a different colored bead for the unit, which helps learners to identify the unit column. So if you are using this abacus, this is the rod that we will be working with. If you're using any of these abacuses, make sure you choose the rod that has a white dot or a black dot on it. Rule number three, remember to use the correct fingers to move the beads. You will be using your thumb to push up the bead and your index finger to move them down. For the top bead, you will be using your index to move the bead up and down. To represent number one, use your thumb and push up one bead. To push the bead down, remember to use your index finger. To represent two, again, using your thumb, push up two beads, so one, two. You push up two beads towards the middle bar. The same if you're using this abacus or this one. To move the beads down, use your index. To represent number three, push up three beads. And to set the abacus back to zero, use your index to push the beads down. Number four, I'm sure you've worked it out by now, is represented by pushing four beads up. That's four, four, and four. To set the abacus to zero, now using your index finger, push the beads down. Now, what did you notice about the bottom beads? Each of these bottom beads has a value of one. So to represent two, I push up two, push it down. To represent three, push it down. Moving on to number five. Now, number five is represented by the top bead. Here. To represent number five, using your index finger, push down the bead towards the middle bar. This is number five. Again, to set your abacus to zero, remember to use your index finger and move the bead up. Moving on to number six, seven, eight, and nine. To represent number six, so we know this bead has a value of five, so it's five, six, five, six, five, six. To set the abacus to zero, 
you can pinch this and open your fingers like that to push both beads at the same time. If you can't do it in one go, remember, use your index. Number seven. So it's five, six, seven. Again, if you're using a 17 rod abacus, it's five, six, seven, or simply seven, pinch them together. Again, to set it to zero, pinch the middle bar and push the bead away from the middle bar. To represent number eight, so it's five, six, seven, eight. Eight and eight. Again, to set your abacus back to zero using your index, push these beads down and push that one up or pinch outwards. Now number nine is represented by five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine and nine. Again, to set your abacus to zero, pinch the middle bar and push the beads down and up or use your index finger, push the bottom beads down, push the top bead up. If you are new to the abacus, remember to keep practicing. Once you are confident or your child is confident showing you numbers such as five, six, seven, they can just pinch seven, seven. Let's do a quick recap. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I hope you've had fun practicing the abacus with us today. Come back again for our next lessons and remember to subscribe to our channel to be notified of our new videos. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you soon.